In Bram Stoker's Dracula, one of the first frights Jonathan Harker encounters are these floating blue flames. These are will-o'-wisps, and they've been found in folklore across the world for centuries and in Animal Crossing. But what are they actually? Huh, I don't actually know. Wait, why is it getting darker? The scientists may have at last uncovered the truth behind these specters, and it is... What is it? What is it? Methane. Oh, okay. And micro-lightning. Sorry, did you say micro-lightning? I'm sorry for doubting you. You can explain. A brand new study conducted just a few weeks ago. Oh, can we turn the lights back on first? Right. <laughs> Methane has long been thought to be the culprit behind will-o'-wisps. It burns blue, and it's abundant in the marshes and swamps where they're often spotted. What we didn't know was what was causing the methane to ignite in the first place. But a paper that came out just a few weeks ago offers a new compelling theory and an amazing word. Micro lightning. In the same way that huge storm clouds can build up an electrical charge through high speed winds causing friction and static, eventually leading to a huge discharge of lightning, on a much, much smaller level, you can actually get something similar to happen with just two drops of water. You see, every time a wave crashes against a rock or a waterfall causes a fine spray of mist, as those droplets of water are being formed, they're being sheared apart, and so each individual droplet can actually have a very slightly positive or negative charge to them. And the same principle is true for fine bubbles of methane gas. And so, in theory, if an especially positive bubble were to collide with an especially negative one, they could cause a micro discharge. And so, by just pumping methane bubbles into water and filming it with a high-speed camera, the researchers were able to actually see this happen. And it really is micro. The scale here is literally micrometers. Now, of course, we don't know for certain that this has been the cause of every single will-o'-wisp in history. Other theories include a trick of the light caused by lanterns or even a bioluminescent fungus. But the fact that we were able to not just theorize about these microscopic electromagnetic phenomena, but actually see it with our own eyes is amazing. Scientists are learning about these tiny phenomena that could explain these centuries old mysteries, and it's just... You can do the spooky voice. Who knows what future research could unveil about the secrets of our universe! Woo! Uh, happy Halloween.